and a chance for everyone to get some shots up. Find the touch. Find the range. Find themselves. We're almost at game time. Hello, and thanks for joining us, folks, for this midweek NBA action on 2K Sports. Our game tonight, and a chance now to see how teams are faring across the league. Here's the latest edition of the Power Rankings. If you look at Boston, they're locked in again at that third spot. Not a bad place to be. And I think for Golden State, they're just so locked in right now. It doesn't matter who they're playing. I know it's still early in the season, but they may turn out to be the team to beat. And now the Golden State Warriors starters. Some kind of shooting in the backcourt for them. It's Curry and Heal. The athletic frontcourt pair. Wiggins alongside Kerminga. And it's Jackson Davis in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Heal kicks to Curry. Back to Heald. Just five to shoot. Here's Wiggins. The rebound by Holiday. Here's Boston now. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. I caught up with Coach Joe Mazzula. We discussed Steph Curry, of course, and what he advised his team to do against him. Coach said, I told our guys that we have to be right up on him to fight over screens and not allow him to feel comfortable out there. A huge task for any defense, and we'll see if this one is up to the challenge. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. So, Shams, when the league brought in that 65-game play rule, it sure seemed to motivate players to suit up. Those awards aren't just about prestige, Kevin. They're about cold, hard cash. And every summer, we're going to see records set for the biggest contract in NBA history. Every summer that goes by, and that certainly has an effect on players wanting to play and players being in the lineup. Now with the 65 games played rule, there is an incentive for all NBA team and different accolades. Yes, well said. So first quarter, just over a minute and a half in. Outside, Brzingis. Wide up top. Finds himself wide open and drills it. Yeah, Brzingis showing some passing ability that time. Instincts are there. For the Celtics, they come into this one following a loss to Atlanta. Wiggins kicks to Curry. Off target from outside. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. You know, Shams, I don't know how many kids grow up thinking they're going to be an NBA insider. But clearly, that is something that you probably thought about at one time or another. Did you think that was going to be your path? Kevin, I knew at the age of 16 years oh old what goodness. I wanted to do. Wow. And this path, I wanted to take an insider for the NBA because I love playing basketball. I loved writing. And I had a genuine passion for transactions, for the behind-the-scenes stories. So to be able to tell that story to the fans, I feel like I am one of the fans. That's why I feel like I can relate to the fans. And so that's what inspired me mostly to take this career path that I took. So connected. It is a pleasure reading you and hearing you. Kevin, appreciate you so much. And just know the stories will keep coming. Boston Trail. Outside Holiday. Brown outside. Six to shoot. The three. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Brown. And let's check out the stats for Tatum. He's coming off an excellent season. He put up about 27 points per game last season. Eight rebounds and five assists. And so much of what they do on offense depends on how he plays. Well, he attracts serious attention from the defense, and that really does open up the backside for a lot of his teammates to take full advantage. Here's White. And so time Joe Mazzula calls for the timeout. He's ready to talk things through with the team. Let's take this chance to see which of last season's teams had the most second chance points in the league. Number five, the Warriors. That's an effort stat for me. I mean, it shows you how hard this team works in the paint. They continue to pound 
the backboard. Porzingis kicks to Holland. Outside, Porzingis. It's good. Well, Shams, you've been around the NBA for a long time now. Which players do you enjoy watching the most? Greatness, especially the guys that are regarded among the greatest of all time, like LeBron James, like Stephen Curry, like Kevin Durant. You have to throw those in there. This is a new era, a new part of Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Nikola Jokic, Giannis Antetokounmpo. You have to throw Luka Doncic in there. You have Donovan Mitchell, you have Paolo Bancaro, you have Tyrese Halliburton, you have Joel Embiid, you have Tyrese Maxey, Jimmy <laughs> Butler, you have Shea Gilles Alexander, Anthony Edwards, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, Devin Booker, Zion Williamson, Anthony Remen Davis, I mean, De'Aaron Fox, Victor Remanyama. Uh, so let's not have anyone here left out. All right. They're all fun to watch. And the Warriors with some changes. Jonathan Kaminga. He's checked in for Trace Jackson Davis. Kyle Anderson comes in for Andrew Wiggins. And it's the Anthony Melton in for Stephen Curry. Melton finds Bajemski. Healed against Horford. Healed with the bucket. Healed's got his second bucket. But he's showing more than just the fact that he's a shooter working his way strength on the inside there. Celtics trail by three. 59 seconds left here in the first quarter. Horford against Heal. Here's Hauser. Can't tie it up as that one misses. The Warriors have gone five of nine from the field here in the first. Kaminga the pass to Heal. Golden State moving it around. Here's Pachemski. Got a piece of it. Melton kicks to Anderson. From outside, off the mark. Boston's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Pritchard passes to Hauser. And they get it back. Horford with it. Pass to Hauser. Left side, Brown. Here's Cornett. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Warriors ahead. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And taking a look at the Warriors' performance here, guys, what are your thoughts? Well, in that first quarter, they, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. And you don't see that all that often, getting down there and doing that much damage in a quarter. you got to respect the game plan. Now let's check in with David Aldridge to see how Stephen Curry's doing. David? Well, guys, I was able to catch up with the Warriors' head athletic trainer. He informed me that he took a big hit to his forearm, and now he has a sizable bruise, but that's all. Now it's an unfortunate blow to them so early on in the season. We'll see how this team responds moving ahead. Kevin, back to you. Okay, Dave, thanks. Sounds like uh, he won't be out for two. So on the floor for Golden State to begin the second quarter. De'Anthony Melton out there with Pajemski. And there's Anderson. Then it's Kevon Looney. And it's Kaminga in at the three slot. Or the three. Springer can't get it to go. Well, even though he misses that one, the defense has got to talk about that. And that's a bad miscue. And you can't give up looks like that all game long. Just a late reaction there from the defense. And he is always going to finish that one. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Now expansion is coming, Shams. Is the league ready, in your estimation, for some more cities and new teams? The NBA seems to be ready. I, I think I'm ready. Kevin, are you ready? Because the last expansion was, what, 20 years ago? That's the longest wait for this league since it began. And so I think Adam Silver and this league are going to take their time and really figure out exactly where they want to expand to. But the question is, Kevin, are you ready? I am always ready. I know the league is looking even overseas or even maybe south of the border for a possible new entry. But the league has got so much talent on the bottom half of these rosters. I definitely think it's time. 
And there's a great appetite, a great desire for a lot of these cities, not only in the States, but also abroad, like you said, to go bring in an NBA team to their city and bring some of the talent, the marquee names to their city. Oh, it'll be terrific. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Kevin, the Celtics can beat you in a number of ways. Point guard Jeru Holiday said, we can play small and big. We have great bench players who come in and change the game at any time and could start on other teams. And we have a hunger. Kevin, they're going to be a problem for a long time. Agreed. Yeah, they are stacked, DA, for sure. Anderson's shot is off. Better than giving up the layup. You want to go in there and use the hard foul. They did it there. That's aggressive attitude defensively. The Celtics shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. And a season ago at the charity strike, this is a group that shot an impressive 81 percent. And that one misses. When you look at the NBA, Shams, any changes you'd like to see? To me, it's having players stay healthy, right? I would love to have a rule that players just play and the top players are there playing the most meaningful moments of regular season games and allowing players to have freedom defensively. And the league can find plenty of other ways to discourage players, but to allow players to really be there in big moments, to defend at a high level, and I would just love to have a healthy serum that we can spread around the league and keep these guys in. I think here at the table, we are, we're all nodding our heads, looking up and down. We all agree completely with what you said. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Here's Holiday. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Well, a, a longer point guard out there, Drew Holiday, can score close into the rim with that kind of size. And here's Curry who brings it up for the Warriors. They defeated the Wizards in their last game. And sometimes it's a lot harder to get easy looks on the road, but they found ways to get their guys good looks. Well, it was probably a good feeling in that last game that the mid-range work, the long-range work, the inside game work. But the best feeling was the crowd leaving that building. Not in a good move. Now Horford's checked in for Jason Tatum. This is one where the second foul is probably going to cost you some minutes in this game. The Celtics shooting their second and third free throws tonight. And it's tied up with that one. Al Horford has seen so much in his career. He's become a valuable asset both on the floor and in the locker room as a leader. Shaking his head moment there. Had a chance to put them out in front, but at least they're tied up. Last holiday. And easy two points on the layup. Holiday's got his second bucket of the night. And playing with a lot of fire now. They had a tough start in that first quarter. Didn't shoot it well, but didn't let that discourage them. And now they're showing what they can do offensively. The Warriors have gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. Curry deciding where to go with it. Kaminga sends a screen for Curry. Wow, Curry automatic from deep. They're almost always layups for Curry at this point. Makes the three look so easy. And Shams, what an absolute delight it has been having you courtside with all of us tonight. Thank you so much for taking time to join us. It has been a true pleasure. Thanks so much for the invite. I can't wait to do it again sometime. I'm honored. I'm privileged. Oh, we are going to hold you to that. Thank you again. Oh, wasn't that wonderful? Easy to see why Shams has so many sources around the game. He's so easy to talk to. Yeah, it's all about relationships at the end of the day. When the conversations come easily, that suits his purpose as a reporter. Here's Holiday. Pass to Brown. And the foul on Andrew Wiggins. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. We'll go to the line to shoot two. And Greg, we were talking Jalen Brown making the 2023 All-NBA second team. Uh, that was big for him, wasn't it? Yeah, Kevin, it made Jalen eligible for the Supermax signing for that five-year extension in July of 23. At the time, the largest contract in NBA history. Barry's the long-range jumper. How many times have we seen this? You give Curry an inch, and that ball's gone. Brown outside. 
12 seconds left to play in the first half. 18 feet away, and he knocks it down. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. Outside Curry. Caught it! He caught it! That's how you do it. Stay patient, wait for the opportunity, and boom! That's exactly how you want to close out the quarter, too, with some confidence. Thank you, David, and we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. Well, you look at the Celtics. This team wants to do big things, shack size things, and I got to say, they're looking almost as dominant as Kenny. Easy. And now revisiting that first half for Steph Curry, he was lights out. Well, he scored well. And that is it for halftime, folks. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Curry has been sensational. It's something that isn't his strength, but he's done a great job of finding the open man. Well, if we were grading playmaking today, it's an A-plus from him. The post pair, Tatum and Porzingis. Holiday in the backcourt. To his side is White, and it's Brown in at the small forward. And that's the group for Joe Missoula as we begin the second half. Curry outside. And another three for Golden State. Bottom line, you need shooters on your team who can space the floor. Oh, there's no doubt he's a legitimate threat from downtown, and he's demonstrating that in this game. Here's Holiday. Outside, Brzingis. Wiggins against Brown. A shake. It's hauled in by Jackson Davis. Warriors leading by four. Slammed home and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. It's on Brzingis. Yeah, that's a taste of how fearless and confident Buddy Heald can play. Love applying the pressure. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And healed. No good on that one. Well, Greg, Boston didn't just win the title. They won their 18th NBA championship in style. No series went more than five, going 16-3 and three in the postseason, Kevin. Half of those wins were by 15 or more. The Celtics really weren't even challenged during that title run. Outside Holiday. That three off the mark. And here's Field. He'll bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. They lead by six, their biggest margin. Pass to Jackson Davis. Heald outside. Curry is inside. Guarded by Holiday. We'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position. Plenty of space. Just clanked it. Brown wide open. He fires. Boston. No good that time either. Warriors leading by six. Outside Curry. Curry on the drive. Good on the bucket. Curry's got 16. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Two minutes into the second half of play now. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A.? Kevin, coming out of high school at six foot nothing, Derek White didn't receive any full scholarship offers. He says it was humbling, but it drove me to get better. Each time you have the doubters, you just put a little chip on your shoulder. The 29th pick overall in 2017 has come a long way. Kevin, his chips are still there. You're so right, David. Thanks. He's become a heck of a player. Down to five on the shot clock. Pass to Jackson Davis. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. And a look now at the Boston Celtics' upcoming schedule. 
On Friday, they'll face off against Ben Simmons and the Brooklyn Nets. And then on Sunday, they'll be playing against Damian Lillard and the Milwaukee Bucks. And looking at that Nets matchup, it's the second game of a back-to-back, -back, and you know they're going to be feeling the effects of it. Playing that much basketball in that short amount of time really takes a toll. Holiday finds Porzingis. Yep, it counts. Six points for Porzingis. Analytics or the eye test? The optics or the numbers in front, right? When you're judging the performance of a player, what kind of criteria do you use? Well, uh, an MVP candidate recently said, my eye test tells me this guy's a terrible defender, but the analytics tell me he's a great defender. I I'm confused, and, and I often feel the same way. Knocked away, and stolen by Tatum. And the foul on Drew Holiday. That is his first foul of the game. The Warriors making a switch here. Anderson's checked in. Substitution for the Warriors. Warriors leading by six. Healed outside. Inside. Here's Jackson Davis. And he banks in the layup. Jackson Davis has got his second basket. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have gone. And Holiday kicks to Brown. Tatum on the wing. Outside, Horford shoots the three. Good on the three-point shot. They need that floor spacing ability from Horford. It's big for them when he's knocking down triples. Here's Pochemski. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Celtics trail by five. Brown and again it's Boston converted and not the easiest shot on the floor and, and Brown sticking with that one showing his confidence healed outside 43 seconds left to play here in the third yeah easy call the Warriors have shot just one free throw missing that one early yeah a year ago though Kevin 78 percent conversion rate from the free throw line so that's a nice all-around effort that one is off Buddy Heel just has such an incredibly quick trigger different look here for the Warriors and he's good on the second two-for-one opportunity here if they want it. And no doubt, Kevin, if I'm them, I go for it. Here's Brown. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. With him struggling tonight, they need to find some other options out there to keep themselves in the game. And it's good for two. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high-percentage looks from inside. Twenty-seven seconds left to play in the third. Brown outside. Esther Hauser. Nice ball movement by Boston, and he's good on the three ball. Hauser's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Here's Santo, and they wasted no time getting those three points back. And the Warriors lead by six. And I like the back and forth here, showing confidence from Rain. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. And so it's the... And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them. And what a beautiful feat. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Setting the floor for the Warriors, Kyle Anderson is out there with Looney. Then there's Moses Moody. Then there's Brandon Pajemski. And it's Melton in at the one. Anderson outside. Pass to Moody. Oh, 
Rebounded by Hauser. Celtics trail by six. Here's Pritchard. Tatum trying to break free. Misses from close range. Golden State's gone 6 of 11 when they've taken the three-point shot tonight. Very respectable. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. Good job to recognize the opportunity. That's just very solid offense. Here's Pritchard. He's guarded by Melton. Horford with a screen on Melton. And the Anthony Melton picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Austin May going to switch here. Holiday's checked in. Gary Payton has checked in for the Warriors. Here's Pritchard. Pass to Cornette. And the layup's good off the glass. And guys, all about hard work from this point on. They've worked hard to create that high-quality shot and then able to knock it down. Anderson outside to the middle. Here's Pajemski. Up and in on the way. Pajemski's got the lead. Back up to eight now for the Warriors. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. Here's the screen. Here's Cornett. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Cornette's got four this quarter. Sharing the ball has always been a strength for Holiday. Some changes for Boston. Porzingis is checked in for Luke Cornette. Jalen Brown comes in for Al Horford. And it's wide in for Pritchard. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Hey, guys. I was able to catch the message Steve Kerr gave to his team. He told his players, I love the energy right now. You look like you're having fun out there. Keep playing for each other because our chemistry looks great right now. Back to you guys. Thanks, David. Warriors leading by six. On the wing, heel to the inside. Kaminga. And Kaminga throws it down. Big time slam there from Kaminga. His coaches and teammates encourage him to get up strong like that. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. And the call will go against Jonathan Kaminga. That is his first foul of the game. First personal foul. Second team foul. Tatum against Kaminga. And the call will go against Jonathan Kaminga. That's foul number two for him. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Third team foul. Kaminga against Tatum. Porzingis with a screen on Kaminga. Lock at six. Tatum no good. D giving him that shot, and that's probably not a good idea, but I guess they knew what they were doing that time. Tipped away. It's stolen by Brown. Looking to get it going. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. A guy with no foot in him. Brown stays on the attack in his well reward. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Warriors. I'm in love with how they're moving the basketball all game long. And also their ability to move without the ball. That style just makes it so difficult to defend. And I feel like another part of tonight's game has been the hustle. The hustle points, getting up and down, getting second chances, getting transition opportunities. They've been fantastic in that area. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, and the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Warriors leading by eight. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Kaminga the pass to Curry. Kaminga sets a screen for Curry. Chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Well, for the Celtics, this one not looking good. And here's Tatum for three. And White gets to Holiday. To the wing on the left. 
The wide open look here for Perzingis. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Now the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. Outside curve. Driving the lane. Yep, that one goes in there. Curry's got the lead up to 10 now for the Warriors. But the truth is, they've had control of this game. Yeah, it looks like a veteran team tonight. Getting out on the road, playing with assertiveness, confidence, fully in control for this win. Tatum, that's for two. Boston again missing. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Kaminga against Holiday. Takes the three. Curry with another miss. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. A solid win on the road for them. This building was dead silent by the time, G.A., this one wound down. And that's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time. Don't give them any chance to lift their team up at the finish. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who's standing by with our player of the game. Take it away, David. Thank you, Kevin. Steph, everyone knows you do a lot of different things for this team, but what would you say your primary focus is? Trying to just take uh, responsibility in my defensive uh, duties. Shooting the point guard, uh, force them in a different situation, difficult shots. Being our first you know, line of defense uh, as they're bringing the ball up, putting pressure on them, and trying to take them out their offense. That's a lot of great point guards in this league, so I got to be able to do that all year and uh, try to get a good start to that this season. That's what franchise players do, play at both ends. Thank you, Steph.